I'm Damian Holbrook from TV Guide Magazine and TV Insider. Hello, Jazz. Hello, Hello Lachlan. Okay, Hi. so you're finally back. Um, and your characters, I love that they, they have romance going on. They have stuff going on other than demons and, and, and ghosts and stuff. So tell us, what can we expect from your characters for these last batch of episodes? A lot of demons and ghosts and stuff. Yeah, so if you're not ready for that, you're maybe not ready for this. <laughs> oh, um, you shouldn't come to Greendale if you're not ready. <laughs> right. Uh, well, I think in this season, we all battle with our inner demons, which is really cool. That it's a little bit more psychological than um, previous parts, which, you know, for any high schooler, that's going to be a lot to deal with because you've already got enough inner turmoil. So to add a uh, cosmic horror messing around in there mm -hmm. is always going to create interesting things but i am very excited for all the lovey-dovey beautiful creepy spooky ookie wooky stuff we've got going well and both of us have good like really good lovey stuff in this part yeah. like there, we have lots to play with lots you know there's a lot of beautiful moments and challenging moments um Ugly but as far as the love stuff it's it's definitely exciting for both Roz and theo this season Excellent. And because that's a big part of the high school experience as well, is, you know, falling in love, getting your heart broken, finding out who you like, what you like. Um, but then in the first episode back, we do see that these eldritch terrors uh, really do play on one's worst thoughts about themselves, um, mm -hmm. which is basically high school's breeding ground. Um, <laughs> yeah. yeah. What, what, is the, uh, what is the attack on your characters from these terrors? Every episode is a different um, terror. So it's, we went through so much, um, but they obviously all targeted different things. So some of them targeted insecurity, some of them targeted darkness inside you, some of them just physically slapped you around. So um, I think it's really a mixed bag, but the cool part is, is that, you know, we're all ready to fight and we all know where we're at and Roz is just particularly equipped to be a badass this season. She is. She is. Uh -huh. I've never been more proud or excited to be Rosalind Walker than I am this season. Well, it's very interesting to explore how both of your characters have just evolved into these very, not secure, but like very strong and um, admirable characters. Uh, they're people that, that viewers can look to and say, if they can do it, I can do it. Um, and I do notice that in the first episode back, Roz is really the first one to jump at, oh, Fright Club needs to get into action. Mm -hmm. Which I love just as development because in early, the earlier parts, it was like, I don't know, Sabrina, like maybe just keep the witch stuff away from me. I don't really know how I feel about it yet. And then like, as it goes, she's like, you know what? Now I'm in, this is cool mm -hmm. and it's crazy and you're my friend and let's go. And I sort of think um, it's just instincts, you know, cause she's psychic and uh, she can't help herself, which I love. Well and nobody can get away with lying to Roz? Which I love. That's my favorite Roz quality. It's my favorite thing. I love it when somebody tries to lie to Roz. Yeah, yeah. Mm -hmm. And now Theo has a hobgoblin to deal with. Um, <laughs> and the cutest hobgoblin. Out, He's um, so cute with his ears. With the little ears. What, <laughs> is the, what has that been like getting to play this story from, from where Theo started to, to this, you know, very unlikely romance. I think it's fascinating. I think it's, um, it makes my queer heart very happy because we rarely get just pure queer love. Like it's not always the case. Like there's always gotta be some sort of tragedy and to have this be just a dumb high school, this makes no sense kind of relationship just satiated this like, soap opera part of my heart that I always I always wanted like that cheesy just absolute all-in kind of love and so I think to see that is really special and we have our ups and downs and I think that's also good to see is that not everything's perfect but uh me and my very old little hobgoblin with his pointy ears and his stupid green hair getting along He's so cute. great <laughs> And well, I love it. I was so happy to see you guys back. I'm so happy that we get to at least end this year with a return to the chilling adventures. We might just, just save hurts. this year with it. Wow. Honestly, it gives us wow. something to look forward to. Yes, yes we love yes. that. <laughs>